What's the over under on this new Metro Boomin' Future project that's supposed to come out this Friday? I still don't trust you. What's the over under on there being more shots from somebody? Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't think so. Because we we still don't trust you part two. What if they got <laughs> what if they got a record we with Pusha T? Don't trust you. Oh. <laughs> That's what it's called though. We still don't trust oh you. Oh my god. Yes. Mm. What if they got a record with Pusha T throwing shots? Oh my god. I'm just saying. That's yeah. crazy. I don't know. Yeah. Just saying. And all these people that unfollowed him. I'm just saying. Unfollow who? Drake. Oh my god. Mm. It'll be interesting. I'm just saying. I wonder what that means. I'm gonna follow him. Let me go on my phone and unfollow. And then this is silly. Yeah, well, let's get to Jess with the mess. Worldwide Jess, worldwide mess. On the Breakfast Club. She's a coach of shit. It's time to set it off. Oh, y'all are cutting to my time major. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Danny Lay's brother is seeking permission to inform rapper the baby of his lawsuit through a newspaper. Mm-mm. Look, so remember the fight that they got into a um, couple years back where uh, uh, allegedly the baby and his friends jumped Danny Lay's brother. His mm-hmm. name is Brandon, right? I think we've seen the video. Wasn't yeah, it a video? Yeah, it was the video, whatever, okay. right? But the baby has said that he, initi- he initiated the fight. Brandon, mm-hmm, the brother, mm-hmm. initiated the fight, right? So <laughs> Bill said that he, uh, Brandon Bills, that's his name, mm-hmm. he said that he hired, he been trying to serve this guy for years. He even hired a private investigator, but he could not track the baby down, right? So he officially asked the court permission to serve the baby by placing a notice in the local newspaper. Imagine the baby reading the newspaper with some coffee, finding out I can that see he that. served... Really? I can see the baby in the morning waking up reading the Charlotte Observer. You yes, th- I can see that. You think the baby going to yes. read the newspaper? Yes. That's a smart Carolina brother. Absolutely. I, okay. I'm not saying he's not smart. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm trying to figure out why he can't find the baby. We see the baby all the <laughs> all time. The time. <laughs> all the time. He be at the drive through <laughs> All the time. He's able to Gas find the baby. Auntie jumping in the car with him, wanting to have sex with him. <laughs> Concerts. You can, have auntie serve him. You can serve the baby. <laughs> but he said that all, through all his work, he have not been able to successfully track him down. You so. ain't looking for the baby. Baby. Yeah. And you probably shouldn't after what we witnessed. I know. <laughs> Jesus. The judge Jesus. has yet to rule on Bill's uh recent motion though. So What are you throwing for? He's throwing for getting beat up? Yeah, he that, yeah, that's what he's But in the video, wasn't he Yeah, they said wasn't he the instigator? He, if yeah, I remember yeah, correctly, yeah, that was so long ago. Guys, uh-huh. guys, he initiated the fight. We're forgetting that the baby has a baby with his sister. Sister. So mm-hmm. they could just leave it at the house. He could wait for the baby to come to pick up the kid. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. You're that's right. all you gotta do. You're right. They gotta go nowhere. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. You gotta pick that. up the baby. Right. That's crazy. Wait, right? wait, hold on now. The baby <laughs> The baby gotta pick up his baby. Okay, gotcha. All right. From his baby sister. Do we know the baby's name? His real baby? name? Yeah. Uh, Kirk something. I forgot. Oh, Kirk. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. little Kirk, because it's involving it. Okay, all right, I got yeah. you. Jonathan. Baby. Jonathan Lindale Kirk. Jonathan Lindale mm-hmm. Kirk. All right, I got you. Eva Marcel disables comments after people spoke about her weight loss. Um, So she sat down with Tamara Hall, and she was talk- they were talking about um how people on social media immediately uh, began expressing their concern once they saw her photos um, at the BET Awards drop. Um, some people were saying, is she okay? Why she looks sick? She looks not well, losing too much weight. Her face looks gaunt, hollow. And then he was like, Ozempic or whatever. Uh, then she talked about it. I lost weight just naturally going through life. And I found myself depressed. Um, before my divorce, through my divorce, trying to just navigate and rediscover who am I? I- yeah, so basically, for the people who are wondering, was she sick? Nah, she wasn't sick. Listen, divorce, breakups, all of that, heartbreaks, that can that can play a, t- a big, big, big toll on you mentally, yeah, yeah, pressure, physically, yeah, of and all of that, you know? And she was saying, even before her divorce, leading up to her divorce, she was just losing weight, and she didn't even really realize it mm-hmm. um, until she, because she thought she looked cute in the pictures. You know, when you're looking at yourself every day, you're not noticing it. And so the comments is what really made her pay attention, and mm-hmm. she was like, oh, wow. But no, she's not sick. She was just dealing with life, guys. She was depressed. That's, so. that's why you got to mind your business. Yeah. Because when it comes to weight, it works both ways. Big bellied women aren't pregnant. Yeah. And you know, women that have lost weight are not sick. Aren't sick. Yeah. Crazy. Are on Ozempic. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's stress. Exactly. You know? S- stress. What I said. Stress, honey. Oh. I don't know what's going on with you. So, um, a cup this just and this is exclusive news. Uh-oh. Um my dear brother Tyrese is feeling some way and he wanted to get some things off his chest this morning. We're not talking about no freeloading baby mamas either, so don't even jump in my comments about that. I'm always and have always took care of mine. 
you gonna leave me and you want to take my life with you that's mm. not happening i'm gonna fight you to the end of the earth but as far as what mine need they're gonna have more than enough it's not my job to take care of you and your life and go lavish your lifestyle and you decided to leave me you're gonna sit across from your new boyfriend your new fiance your new husband and be pimping off my money while this the laying up in something that I'm paying for and driving around in and dinners and vacations that I'm paying for, I'm not doing it. But pertaining to my child or my children, they're going to always have more than what they need. Tyrese is still on live right now going in <laughs> about it. So if y'all, I, I just cut that from the beginning. Where's it coming from? When is he first started. New? Man, knock it off. You don't it's, need no context for Tyrese. You know exactly what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, he's talking about his ex-wife. Exactly. It seems is, like, no, know, but like did something happen new in court? We we don't know. It's it's still on, so oh. we gotta go tune in. Sorry. Um, and for y'all who who want to hear the rest of it, just go to this page. He's on live right now, currently. Uh, we don't know when it's gonna end, but I just wanted to shed some light on that and seal that and uh, send that brother healing energy. Did Tyrese ever put out the Beautiful Pain album, or it never came out? Mm, I believe it is. Oh, hold on, let me the, say. The, the theme of that album is supposed to be about his recent divorce mm. from from Samantha. So you know, I would rather Tyrese give us the music. Beautiful pain. Everything else handle it in the court. Ranch and stuff, handle that in the court. Yeah, no, I don't think the album came out. Give us no. the music. Mm -hmm. th dang, it's not. No, it's not. It's like sure that. not. No, it's I not thought he came, he came up here like what six months ago and said it was okay. Well, maybe he's he's just in such you know a funk he can't even get it out. Maybe. Mm. I'm so sad for him. All right, y'all, but let's go watch the rest of this live. That was just with the mess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the People's Choice Mix is up next. Let's go. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.